So I'm back today, and this looks familiar, doesn't it? Uh, unfortunately, the thermostat was bad in the new engine, so I am going to take the entire front end off, do the timing belt, rollers, tensioner, and of course a new thermostat. So I gotta drain all the coolant and get that replaced. It's a bummer, but not a big deal. I, uh, I'll take it apart, get the thermostat replaced, and then overall, everything's running and working great. So uh, we'll get that taken care of today. And I gotta grab the all the old components off of the old engine sitting over here. So get that taken care of, but overall I'm really happy with, with the engine, how it came out. Fix the exposure here. There you go. Looks awesome, runs awesome. And most importantly, I was very concerned that it was gonna sound atrocious because some 2.8s end up sounding really bad. And the combination of the headers that I built and the, the eBay exhaust that I had on this thing, it sounds almost like an S4, which is awesome. There's no rasp in it, it sounds incredible. So really happy about that. And uh, let's get this thermostat fixed. <laughs> So I got everything pulled from the old engine. New roller, roller set, continental belt, and uh, a new OEM temperature thermostat. I forgot, I actually have a low temp thermostat here. I don't know if I wanna risk it though. It's nice to, to have the engine run a little bit cooler, but I think I'm just gonna go with the standard one for, for this time around and uh, new uh, hydraulic tensioner there as well so uh now it's gonna be peeling the front end off the car one other thing i'm gonna do while it's apart is i have a new uh 2.6 inch supercharger pulley so it'll give it a little bit more boost the one that's currently on it is a 2.8 inch so it'll uh spin the supercharger a little bit faster and see if it creates more boost Definitely going to create more heat. We'll see though. So as you just saw in the time lapse, I just took care of the thermostat and the two uh, the two pulleys, the belt, and put it all back together. So up next, I'm going to change out this pulley. This is a 2.8 that I have on there, and I'm going to put a 2.6, which is sitting right there. And I'm going to get this swapped out, and I'll show you 
mathematically the the calculations. I don't know what it's going to do for boost because the atmosphere has a lot to do with that, and we'll see. Right now with the 2.8, I had around 10.5 PSI at sea level, and up here in Vegas, I see about 8 PSI. So um, we'll see what the... Uh, what it ends up being after the, the new pulleys installed. So here's the two pulleys side by side. On the right we have the 2.8, on the left there's a 2.6. And I've uh, pulled up a calculator in the back here on the, on the computer screen. And this one displayed, I have in metric the the crank pulley is 162 millimeters. The 2.8 is about 71 millimeters. So at 7,000 RPMs of the crank pulley, the 2.8 is at 15,972. And then for comparison, at the same engine speed, the new pulley, the 2.6, roughly 66 millimeters, is 17,182. So It'll get about a thousand RPMs more at 7,000, but what I'm hoping is, since it's a ratio, every RPM of the engine will equal higher RPM of the supercharger, so I should get more boost lower down and maybe not have to rev it as high to make the same boost. So we'll see how that goes. Either way, um, getting the, the smaller pulley here required way more work than I was expecting why wouldn't it? Um, so the inside diameter of the pulley actually hit the snout of the blower. So I had to carefully file and machine the end of the supercharger and kind of smoothed out the inside diameter of the pulley. And now it fits nice and smooth and doesn't rub. So I'm going to go ahead and probably put it back on time lapse and get this project buttoned up so I can get it back together. So, see you in the time lapse. So the car warmed up nicely, thermostat was the problem as I suspected, and everything's good to go. New pulley's on, and I'm about to take it out to dinner and see how much of a difference the pulley makes. See if I can get some video while I'm doing that, but if not, this might be the end of this video. So that's going to finish it up for today, guys. I got the thermostat changed and everything seems like it's good there. Uh, next, I'm going to go out and take it for a spin and see if that supercharger pulley makes any more boost. Uh, beyond that, this video wasn't all that exciting, but I just wanted to keep you guys updated with what I've got going on with the A4. And uh, yeah, sucks that I had to change it, but no big deal. Got it taken care of and now it's good to go. Um, yeah, that's it for today. Thanks for watching.